Hi friends! Welcome to a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Today I have for you my full face and body nighttime routine. So I traveled to Las Vegas recently and one night when I realized that, oh my gosh, I literally could not leave any of the products home and there I was about to follow the full routine I have at one o'clock in the morning. That's right. I was like, okay, I am obviously really committed to it so I decided to film this for you. Now before going into the details I just wanted to share that I follow the Korean beauty principle of layering products and use mostly Korean brands because Koreans are really at the forefront of beauty so yeah let's get started. I first started with washing my hands of course and then I used my makeup removing wipes from Burt's Bees. I listed by the way and linked all the products for you below because I hate videos with product display that just leave me hanging so none of that here. Well hello bare face and stupid pimple. Um, after taking the makeup off I brush my teeth. Oh. Oh my god, I forgot the volume up on this clip. Sorry, I was watching Forensic Files. Oh well, might as well just leave it. Um, after brushing, I floss, which I'll spare you from watching, and then twice a year I use the Crest strips to help whiten my teeth, and I'm in that process now, so there it is. With the strips on, I take my shower, and in there I use this egg white face wash. Now, I usually wash my face last because I want the steam from the shower to open up my pores and really allow for the product to seep in, but if I waited till the end, and you guys wouldn't be able to see anything because of the steam so yeah I do recommend giving your face at least five minutes though before washing your face and if you don't have time to shower hover over the sink with hot water running and do it that way now I always tap dry not wipe then I remove the whitening strips and get ready to start with the product first thing I do is with a cotton pad apply toner on the t-zone and I've been really into this one from pixie beauty called glow tonic it's mildly exfoliating and it has 5% glycolic formula aloe vera and ginseng. It smells insane. Then I wait for it to dry and uh, afterwards using my fingers I tap into the skin this mineral treatment essence from Kremer Lab. I apply this on my neck as well and whatever is left on my fingers I rub on the top of my hands. Most women don't factor the hands in their routine but the hands and neck are the first to show signs of aging so I hope you'll be inspired to do this as well if you aren't already. After the essence seeped into the skin, I use three drops of my Night Repair Serum and the way I apply it is I first rub it all over the skin to evenly distribute it, then I tap the product. The best way to feed your skin is to push the product in. After applying the serum on my neck as well, I follow with the all-in-one snail repair cream. Research has been supporting the many benefits of snail extract and I've been using snail products you guys for over six months now and although they don't smell like anything or feel special in any way, my skin does look better than it ever did and um, yeah case in point while the cream is going into my skin I use another snail based product it's the snail repair cream and I put that on my lids and around the eyes and then after I give everything I applied so far a moment to sit on my face that's a common thing if you noticed, giving the creams a minute or two between each application. So after that I apply my moisturizer, which I love. It's formulated with 70% starfish extract to hydrate and rejuvenate the skin. And then I finished a routine with my La Mer Concentrated Eye Cream. If you get inspired to layer products, make sure to learn the ingredients each one has and make sure they don't clash with one another. And if you do start, add one product at a time. I went from three products to seven and my skin reacted funny so I had to dial it down and add one new product every four to five weeks or so. Now after the face I moisturize my body and I mentioned in a previous video why it's better to use creams from tubs like this one as opposed to pumps and that you guys pretty much wraps things up. I don't think my routine is totally crazy but I do have eight steps and use a couple unusual products and I know that sounds like a lot but we only have one face and if we don't properly take care of it we'll regret it later. These products aren't on the cheap side either but if I bargain everything I have I don't bargain my skin and hair those are investments to me and that's it I hope you liked this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you beautiful soul very soon bye